Um, all right, so you toured with uh, so much to talk about. You toured with Cat Williams a lot for years. Am I correct? That's very correct. Um, what did that change in your life? How did that change your life? Well, that changed everything for me. Okay. Because first of all, I had never been on a tour at all. Ain't nobody asked me to go on their tour mm -hmm. for whatever reasons. Mm -hmm. Fear. And it brought money into my life because, you know, if you work with, with Cat Williams, you're going to get paid. Mm -hmm. And I got on... I think maybe the biggest stage I had done oh, so right far right. because mm -hmm. we did, uh, when we did American Hustle, that movie, yep. the concert footage at the end was at the Ari Crown. I had never played. Chicago, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I had never played at an arena like that. And then I got to fly on private jet. Ooh. Ooh. And I had never done that. There's only two people to this day who've ever done that for me. You Cat. know, that was Captain Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Mm, okay. And, um... You know, it gave me. We did so good in the in the tour that 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 we did a film. You right, know, right. And it was just one of the greatest experiences ever. But let me ask you, it, it, it's such a different experience from doing a comedy club, which is three hundred people, to doing fifteen thousand, eighteen thousand, whatever it may be. What did you have to change about your act? You felt like you know the different energy or bigger people. Like how does that work? I mean, I know how it is, but. People, you know, what is well, it? I think at that time, I didn't really know what to change, oh, but sure. I know what to do now. Right. Uh, I don't care if I'm in a club or an arena or in a dark closet. Because first of all, I don't wear my glasses, so I can't see the motherfuckers no way. So <laughs> it makes no difference right. to me who's right. out there, except for what, the, the, sure. what I can hear. Um, I know that when I do bigger rooms, I wear flashier clothes. You know, okay. I have on more makeup. I try to be very opulent so the people way back there can see, see me well. Nice. And I want the people in arenas to know that I'm bringing big energy for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't wear what I would wear in an arena in a, in a club. What I look like with sequins and fucking feather coat on at the improv. Right. Like, you're doing too much, bitch. Right. But, um, you know, if I'm at the Hollywood Bowl, mm -hmm. it's everything I got. Uh, if I'm at the, you know, anywhere that's big mm -hmm. and um i don't have a i think my preference is uh clubs just because of the intimacy the intimacy sure. and the interaction all right. all right that's interesting um as a friend of cat williams how do you think he's is there any way he's misunderstood or he is what it is nobody should misunderstood Nobody should misunderstand Cat by now for all the people who ask about him all the motherfucking mm -hmm. time. Like, clearly everybody's obsessed. Why is this? In, because he's an enigma and because you can't figure him out and because you can't get that close and all that stuff. Sure. Like, every motherfucking interview I do, somebody's asking me about Cat, which is great yeah. because I feel like I'm a good representation of the brother. You know, I, I think he's a fucking great guy. He's super, super talented. Intelligent yeah, before yeah. talented. Okay. Well that. read, yes. intelligent, high IQ, and then talented, and then funny, and then poignant, and then important, and up to date, and mm -hmm. knowledgeable, and mm -hmm. teachable, like Mooney used to be. Yes, yes. One of my favorites of you all know, time. You know, so. Um, I'm a fan of Cat Williams, too. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, well, it wouldn't make yeah. a difference if you were, if you weren't. Well, the I'm, facts are, the right. facts remain. Because there's been people who weren't, who asked me questions, too, and I stand on what mm -hmm. I just said uh -huh. every time. That's, uh, the, that's the motherfucker I know. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. About uh, what does it feel like to be in a Dave Chappelle sp space? You know, for him to take you on, you know, he's considered a goat right now, you know, and to bring him on, to even have, a, to bring you on, I mean, to, 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 to even give you the, the, the knowledge. How does, how does that make you feel? I mean, he said one time I was a great comedian on a clip for a hot second, and that shit went viral. I was like, well, yeah. I was like, damn, everybody. <laughs> I know, up. I he know. He called you great. I was like, what? But he brought you in. That's the difference. Okay? Yeah. He'll call me great on the outside, but called you in. So what, is, what, what does that feel like? Does it validate something to you? Do you feel like you know, I belong in the room now? Or I've always felt like I belong in the room? But, you know, how does that feel to be brought in with a, a cat, I mean, a, a Dave Chappelle? Well... That did blow my mind because the first time that he acknowledged me, I didn't even know that he knew who the fuck I was. 
Bill, my manager and best friend, we flew to New York to watch Eddie live at Saturday Night Live mm -hmm. when he went back after 25 years. Okay. So we were there. And then I was walking down the hall and I seen Chappelle and he seen me and he was like, the queen, the queen is here. I was like, where's the fucking queen? I thought Latifah was in the building. Right. And uh, he was talking to me. Nice. I was like, oh my God, hi, you know, and then we took pictures. I've got the pictures and everything like that. And then um, every now and then he would just like reach out and fuck with me, you know. Uh, and I mean, I think that if you are, to have Kat and Chappelle appreciate me mm -hmm. does validate me mm -hmm. but with motherfucking goats sure. that, sure. you know, uh, but I didn't need that validation because I already am secure in who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? I know what I do to these audiences. I know the work that I put in. I know who sees me. I know who act like they don't see me. Yeah, but when they do validate you, other people believe you've arrived. Trust well, me, that's you know other people, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but that's who's paying for you, too, to go well, see yeah, you, it support is. you, and call you. So, because here it is. Let me tell you, I just told you, you, you know, you definitely top five female. You know, let's be, I'm being on top five, three almost. But some of the other females, they ain't taking them, Chappelle and, and Cat Williams ain't taking them all and put them on a Well, a but you're talking about two beasts. So they, 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 they fuck with a beastly bitch. Okay, right, right. But they also fuck with other people who ain't beasts too. But uh, black females, yeah. <laughs> oh, let, me, let, me, let me let me look at my friend. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Well, well, that was good. Because sometimes they just want to give some people a chance. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think it's they dope do that like that too. Do that. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. do that. Yeah. What? No, I don't. I don't. So once that. you're there, you're only there by yourself. You ain't giving no. a chance. You ain't reaching back I down. I fuck with other people in my in my. I don't like. <laughs> I'm just saying. The fuck? They said, oh, well, Linnell, my friend, he's so funny. Yeah. Can he do five minutes on your show? No. Ooh, Linnell. No. Now, do you want to know why? <laughs> because my audience didn't pay for amateur night. Oh, you just My no. audience paid to see professional comedians. Come on. They man. have amateur night for that. Linnell. And then if I give you five minutes, who's right. five minutes will be shaving I'm off? Okay. Mine? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not mine. I know that's right. So now you got to talk to the other people. Do they want to give up five minutes of their okay, time? Man. Okay. And they're as anxious to get on stage the fuck is whatever. You know, I had to earn my way there on these is. stages. On you earn yours. Yeah, come on now. Nobody give me, oh, it's, it's my friend and all that shit. I had to get on stage and slay come on. time after time after time. And that's the only way you get fucked with. And that's the only way you get paid. Nobody pay wants to see you have a bad day. Right. I had a bad day. I've been on stage when I was having a miscarriage. I was on stage when my mama died. So I don't want to hear nothing about I had a right. bad day sure. and my set is fucked up, bitch. You, you, uh -uh. No. No, no, no. I feel, you know, it's funny. I also think it's kind of disrespectful when comics come to the see you in, you know, in different little cities and want to get on. Well, they didn't like, come to see you. Right, right. <laughs> they came to get on, ooh, on you. Ooh, oh, oh, don't do that, no, now. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, do you know when I got to LA <laughs> with the, the, after it, it stuck, I went out for almost a year to okay. comedy clubs and I never got on the mic. Really? All I did was watch. Okay. Why did this comic work in this room and this comic didn't work in this room? What kind of crowd is this? Mm. Are they male? Are they female? Are they drinking? Are they not drinking? Are they couples? Are they singles? Are they hunting? Are they black? Are they white? You know? Mm. And I studied all that shit. I, every time you go out, See, these motherfuckers will come and ask you for time, mm -hmm. and you'll give them time, and they won't even stay to watch you. Oh, don't do that. They go don't to another that. club and try to get on. So how are you going to learn something you're so thirsty? How are you going to learn anything if you don't watch people? That's right. Mm -hmm. How you want time on my stay, but you didn't even stay to watch me? Mm. No. That's no. somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hate when even comedy club owners, to you comedy club owners, who try to slide a nigga in, try to slide a comic in. Like, that don't happen do? no more. Oh, I know, that's no. right. No. Right. And also, nine out of ten times when you do let somebody on stay, let's say you say, you know what, okay, I'm going to give you five, I'm going to take five minutes off of my time, I'm going to give you five minutes. Nine out of ten times they suck. Ooh. You might get one motherfucker that really right. did a good job, or that you might take with you. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit.
If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?